Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have makeup. Um, I wanted to tell you more about the go-to makeup I use this summer. Um, if you know me a little bit better, you know that I'm not a huge fan of makeup in summer because my face is extremely sweaty and I just I just cry with my makeup. <laughs> uh, so I almost never used it and if I do, I prefer it to be cream to stay on my face a little bit longer and and today I will show you a few products that are my absolute favorites and now I remind myself that I forgot my white eyeliner because a few videos ago uh, I showed you a white eyeliner eye few videos ago I showed you a white eyeliner from NYX and this is my favorite thing ever to add a little detail uh, around the eye it's beautiful and I use it every now and then mm, but Eyeliners are not my best friends it's in summer, so I use only this one and the green one from NYX. Uh, they are just waterproof. They are heavily waterproof. They stay all day. I really love that. But I have more um, everyday pro products because I don't wear winged liner every day. First, I will tell you about the product I'm raving about recently really it's MAC face and body foundation and I don't use it with brushes I use it only with my hands and it fe it feels like a skin perfecter my skin is pretty toned and all the dots spots and stuff are gone this is a very light coverage it just makes your skin tone even and if I need more, more coverage, I will use a Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC, but this one with a brush. And my go-to brush for these products is this. This is a NYX Professional Makeup Brush number four. This is a feather brush. I mean, I invented that this is a feather brush. I don't know if it's called like this, but it's a feather brush for me, big feather brush. And you can see that if I will just put a little dot of the concealer around my face, just few round shapes and it's gone and it's well done. And this, this is my <laughs> skin repairing kit. Um, all right. Um, my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara this summer is Sephora Volume On. And you see as it's teal, teal, turquoise, green. It's very, very light. It's beautifully mint color. It's this color. It gives your eye a little pop of color and it it can be used instead of all other makeup. I don't use eyeshadows with this. I only use it with my concealer, with my foundation, and only a little bit of this. And these are very affordable. They have few beautiful colors, uh, like baby blue, uh, dark blue, and pink, and probably black, like a regular one. But this is my favorite. I really love it. It really complements my green outfits, uh, and I have I highly recommend that. Face is nothing without brows, and we know that. <laughs> we need brows on our face, and this is my Bobbi Brown brow kit in color medium, and I will show you. You get this little tweezers and a small brush. Uh, I want to show you colors. Here are the colors. This lighter one is a perfect one for me. I use it every day and it gives you very natural finish for your brows. And when I'm talking this, I have no brows done. <laughs> so this is this is typical me. Like I'm talking about the product I didn't use today. Uh, but you know, it's weekend. I don't care on the weekends. Um, it is really, it is an expensive product, I need to warn you, but for me it stays all day, it's really good and the color matches me really really well, so I don't feel like I was stolen from. <laughs> now we have a lip gloss i haven't used a lip gloss since i was in a fourth grade and that's that tells something about me but a few months ago and i'm start, i started using it only now because well i have it on right now this is victoria's secret holo glow and there are two 
uh, there are two colors, the violet one and the pinky one, and it's so sweet, it's so tasty. Um, it gives a little bit of glow to your lips, and um, these, this is much more violety than the second one I saw. Uh, the second one has a pink shade, and I prefer this one, so I just got this um, in Warsaw, when I was last time in Warsaw, I remember now. And the last and the biggest products at the end, because we have two eyeshadow palettes. And first eyeshadow is 24 karat nudes from Maybelline. And these, these are wonderful. These are so highly pigmented. These are beautiful. I showed them to you a um, few videos back but I keep using this one and this one Jesus Christ they are so beautiful and I can really recommend you that if you use a little bit of foundation on your on your eyelid or a little bit of eyeshadow base they will stay all day and they will not um, break in increases these are beautiful i went for a party evening uh, using one of them and it was hot it was sweating hot but it stayed all evening it was so good and the last but not least this is something i haven't tried yet because i received it yesterday does it look familiar yeah, this is a Primark duplicate for Huda Beauty palette. I remember when Primark did a Fenty Beauty dupes, and I couldn't, I couldn't look at it. But my mom bought it because she, she, she said it looked familiar, and she wanted me to test it. So these are the colors. Looks familiar too. These two looks the same, but they are not really. This one is more brown. This one is bright orange. And this one, the rusty one. I can't wait to use this one. Um, well, the metallic shades are pretty well pigmented. I will not tell that they are not. Um, but the quality, well, you just, you don't have to, there is no picking up. This is amazing quality. <laughs> but these are, the colors are pretty, pretty cool and they will look good in autumn. So if I will feel good using these shades, I will I'll be sure to let you know how the quality of them is because I only swatched it yesterday and, well, expectations and reality, they are always different. Uh, so I can't wait to use this one in autumn. Maybe this one or this one. They look pretty, but we will see how the quality turns out because I expect nothing because it was 350. It was 350. And I expect nothing, but it will be cool to check if they are worth anything. Uh, Alright, if you have any questions about the cosmetics I used, and um, please kindly write them below. I will answer all of them. Leave a like if you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Bye!